Hey everyone, this is Andrew Ty. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how to delete a photos library on a Mac. I'm running macOS Ventura and today I'm going to show you how to do this. So if you haven't subscribed already, then please consider subscribing and you'll be able to keep up to date with the latest Mac tutorials. So firstly, we're going to have the photos application open and then we're going to click on photos on the menu bar and then we're going to click on settings. And this is going to help us locate where the photos library is physically located on the computer. So here is the library location. It's kept in my user folder under pictures and it's called photos library photos library. What we're going to do is click on show in finder or you can click on the actual file itself and it's going to open up a finder window and here we're going to find the library photos library dot photos library if i hold down the control key and then click on photos library then we have the option here to move to bin that's going to put this into the recycle bin so if i go down now to the recycle bin and i can see here i have the photos library dot photos library file if i want to permanently delete this we can just empty the bin or control click and then click delete immediately and that's going to permanently delete that file. So just go ahead and do that. It's asking us here if we're sure we want to delete it, just press delete now. So once that's deleted, all the photographs in that library are going to be removed. If you click on the photos app again, it's going to ask us to locate our photos library. However, this has now been deleted. So what we're going to do is we can create a brand new library by pressing open other, and then we can press create new, and then we can put this in its default location and press okay. And then it's going to start a fully blank photos library. You're free to go to settings and you can go and sign into iCloud and you can use this as a main system photo library. All of those options are available to you there. So now I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please like, please subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.